Hey YouTube, um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to format a computer. The first thing you got to do is put your CD, the your recovery disk, labeled XP professional, into your into your drive. And then you need then you need to restart your computer. Now we're going to wait for it to boot up. Then we're going to press F12 until we get into the menu system. And we're going to boot from the CD, from the CD ROM, because we have the CD in there. Hit enter. Press any key to boot from the CD. And now going to load up all the uh, information. It says press F6 if you need to install any third-party software, or press F2 to run automated system recovery. You don't really want to do that. And now system is loading files. Now we're going to wait for this thing to finish loading all the files, and then we'll keep going from there. Okay, here we are again. And we have some options. It says welcome to setup. To set up Windows XP now, press Enter. To repair Windows XP installation using Recovery Console, press R. To quit set up Windows without installing Windows XP, press F3. And you wanna you you wanna press you're gonna wanna press Enter because you wanna set up Windows XP now. So hit Enter. And going to go through the uh, proper license agreement and it says you got to read the whole thing I mean I already know like I already read it like three or four times because I've done it before so we're just going to press F8 because it says if you agree or it says press escape if you do not agree but we're going to hit F8 in the wrong key, sorry. Bam, there you go. Okay, now it says to repair the selected Windows XP installation, press R. You don't want to repair it because it's going to like put an overlay of Windows on the one you, that you already have. So it says to continue installing a fresh copy of Windows XP without repairing, press Escape. So you're going to want to press the Escape now, here we have more options, and it says, and we have a little eight, a little partition there. I don't know what that is, but what you're going to do is press D because you want to delete the selected partition, and uh, that's what we're going to do. Hit D. All right, boom. And the partition may contain dinos. Okay, you read all of that. And you're going to want to, okay, it says to delete this partition, press enter. And that's what we're going to do. Press enter. And uh, we have to go to like, through like three or four confirmations. Make sure, and now you make sure you back up all your stuff because this is like, this is completely going to, this completely is going to blow up your machine. So make, make sure you have it all backed up. So it says right there, all data. All data on this partition will be lost. So hit L because you want to delete that. And now to set up Windows on the selected item, press Enter. To create a partition in the unpartitioned space, press C. To delete the selected partition, press D. Since you already did that, you don't need to do it again. Uh, you're gonna press. You're gonna hit Enter. Boom. There you go. Now it says you need to format this partition. If you want to select a different partition for Windows XP, press Escape. But we're gonna you don't wanna you don't wanna do the the, the one on the top, you wanna do this one right here. File the complete file system because that way it, it wipes everything off your hard drive and you you install a fresh copy of Windows XP. So just hit uh it says 
continue, hit enter. What you're gonna do? Hit enter. And setup is formatting. You said please wait, wait a while. Setup will well, set up format the partition. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. This thing is almost it's almost finished formatting, 99%. And now it's gonna let's see what it's gonna do. I think it's gonna start loading up all the files. There it is, 100%. Okay, checking the drive C. You said, please wait. Creating list of. Wait, you won't even let me read it. Please wait a while. Set up copies files to the Windows installation folders. So that's what it's doing now, basically. Copying all the files. You know, and. Just pause this for a little while. Okay, this thing is almost done. Copying all the files, and then the computer is going to boot right now. Please, we will set up initializes your Windows XP configuration. Saving configuration. And there you go. Your computer will will reboot in f 10 seconds. everybody I hope I hope this helps you don't want to press that F12 up there again because it's gonna start all over so we're just gonna wait for the setup here and you don't want to boot from the CD again because you already did that all right so Windows is gonna continue doing the rest by itself. There it is. An exciting new look. And, you know, you can read this while you're doing it. And it says, setup will complete in approximately 39 minutes. It usually takes less than that, so. And, like I said, I hope this helps, all right? I'm going to pause this thing again, and when the next steps are up, I'll keep recording, all right? Okay. There's one more step. Rich, original and language options. You could do or customize it, whatever, you know, I'm in the U.S., so I'm just going to hit next, and I'm going to type my name. And we're going to hit next. Okay, here, you have to type in your product key. So... I'm just going to go ahead and type at it, and then I'll get back to you. Okay. I already typed in my, my key code. Now I'm just going to hit next. You could do, you know, you can name your computer whatever you want. Set your date and time. And hit next. Then it's going to keep, it's going to take you back to this screen. And this is going to take about 15 minutes, and you should be done. So I'm just going to, like I said, I'm going to pause this thing again, and then we'll keep going. Okay. Finalizing installation. And it says setup will complete in two minutes. Up. You 
don't want to boot from the CD. Okay. There it is. To improve, to improve the appearance of visual elements, Windows will automatically adjust your screen resolution. All right, that's nice. <clears throat> Welcome. And that's okay. That's the screen right there. A fresh copy of Windows 6P has been installed. Now there is one thing. You may have a problem with the audio. You won't hear. See if this is take a tour of Windows 6P. If you want to do it, go ahead and do it. But I'm not, I'm not going to do it. You may have a little problem with the audio because you need to go to the Dell.com and download the uh, integrated audio for your speakers or whatever you have. So that's that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. And um, if you have any questions, I mean, send me a request and I'll I'll be glad to respond. All right. Like I said, I hope this helped. I'm going to start doing the updates on this thing and take it easy, guys. Bye.